Namaste. I am in the beautiful Western Ghats. And today, I had the privilege of visiting a very sacred temple. A very ancient sacred temple. It was the temple of Mrutyunjaya. And I, as I took the darshan of the Lord and returned, I decided to make this video. When we talk about Mrutyunjaya, Mrutyu means death. Jaya means victory. Mrutyun Jaya essentially is victory over death. Now as humans, when we come to this earth, we have a fixed shelf life. The longevity is already decided. It could be small, it could be medium, or it could be long. But in the horoscope, there is one planet that really pumps in life energies. In Vedic astrology, we talk about 12 houses. In these 12 houses, the, the, houses, the, the eighth house and the third house are known as the house of life. And the 12th houses from these two houses, that is 12th from the 8th and 12th from the 3rd, which is the 7th and 2nd houses, are known as the Maraka houses, or they are known as the death inflicting houses. This video I want to talk about the 3rd house and particularly the Lord of the 3rd. There, there have been many times in your life when you will notice that suddenly you do not have energy, you, not have, you, don't, you do not have the enthusiasm or you do not have the passion to do anything. This is a time when you feel very lethargic, when you really don't feel like you have the, uh, you, you have the energy or mood to do, carry out things. And that is because usually you are under the influence of the, of the second lord and the seventh lord. Now in the chapters of astrology, there is one secret. The, the Lord of the third house is considered to be Mrityunjaya, one variant of Mrityunjaya. And if you take the blessings of the Lord of the third, suddenly you will see that your entire body is filled with energy. Now to understand this, you need to understand the concept of Ojas. Now what is Ojas? Ojas is that energy that is present in the body that powers it, that propels it. And if you look at the second house or the seventh house, these are the houses and the lords of these houses are the ones that remove the ojas from the body. That's why they are known as marakas because they inflict death. The third house pumps in the ojas. Interestingly, the third house is also a functional malefic. The third lord is a functional malefic. But when it comes to ojas, this is the house which pumps the ojas inside the body. So take a look at your respective horoscopes and take a look at the lord of the third. The lord of the third is the lord that pumps ojas in your life. And if you do any activity under the blessings of the lord of the third, you will suddenly see that your life will be filled with exuberance. It will be rich. It will be meaningful. And any activity that you would be doing, you would be doing it out of joy, out of happiness. On the other hand, if you are doing it under the blessings of the second and the seventh house, suddenly whatever you try to do, there will be a lot of demotivation, there will be a lot of lethargy, and you will not really have the right attitude or mental uh, frame to do it. So if you are one of those people who doesn't want to really uh, go after complicated kriyas or do uh, 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 various courses and therapies and stuff like that. Here is a very simple yet fantastic solution. Look at your respective horoscopes, look at the Lord of the Third and the Lord of the Third under his blessings any activity that you do you will be filled with ojas. Namaste.